So I have the RBK50 Netgear um, mesh system. And one thing that I do dislike about it is the application. So if you go to Orbi, it takes a moment for it to connect to the device itself. All right, so now we got to connect it. So it shows you internet is online and there's one satellite. So let's say we go to the network map. Let's connect the network map. And it shows you that they're hardwired. And here you can click on specific device and it tells you the connections that this one is housing. And you can click on this one and it should give you also some of the connections that it's housing. So there are a few things that I dislike about the application. So let's say we go into the device. We can see the devices listed here. You can see the wire connections and then you can see, you can turn the devices off. The Wi-Fi signal is inaccurate. I can be sometimes standing right next to it and get not full bars. So that's not always accurate. It takes time to update and also takes time to recognize. So the, for instance, this, um, there's a few systems in here that took about about three days to update, which is the Ecobee. Um, once I switched it to a, the extender, which is a wired because I wanted to run it on a different um, set of uh, connections, it took three days to update. The security, um, the security is not too bad, but it's something that you have to pay for. You get it free for uh, 30 days, um, but you do have to pay for that. Speed test. You can do the speed test. The one thing that I'm going to tell you straight ahead is when you do a speed test, you will have to, uh, it'll run the upload first. And now this is a wired connection. So this is running full on directly from the internet to the modem to the router. And you'll see it go. Once it does the upload, then you'll get the download speeds and uh, ping. So there we go. We get the download speed now and again this is not the device this is directly the base station itself and the ping is about 26 and that varies I've seen um, the internet connections go down in the 90s as well my upload is fairly uh, even across the whole bar parental controls you can turn on but the first thing that it does it takes you to a circle and you have to set it up. And it's the circle first generation, which is not that good. As it comes here, you can have your Wi-Fi, you can change your SSID, you can share with QR code, you can share Wi-Fi, and it gives you the um, protection that it's using. Um, you can see the traffic meter, and you can turn off the guest and Wi-Fi uh, turn off the guest and open turn it on turn it off so that's about it for the app it's very limited when it comes to parental controls because you do have to go to the circle app so now you have to have a separate app to control it and it's at that point also someone so you have to have two separate apps and in here, it does not give you that much of a control and it just takes a long time to update, which I am not a fan of. Uh, the other one that I tried is the Nighthawk when I had the, a Nighthawk Wi-Fi 6 router, which I'll do a review later. Um, and I had a whole bunch of issues with that one. But it takes a longer time to connect. It gives you inaccurate description of the information, the signal strength. So you don't always get the best. As for the router itself, um, let's check. So I have both of the devices running. I'm getting good ping response time and Wi-Fi. I'm getting pretty much what I'm paying for, about 100 or a little bit more. And I was getting this with my Airport Extreme. It's just that it slowly started failing, so that's why... I started going with a different router after seven years.
and so speed test is good getting good speeds it's a couple of things it has turned off for me um twice where i had a drop in connection and um i also had an issue where the satellite disconnected then jumped on a wireless backhaul and then went on a wired backhaul even though i have it wired um and every, all the devices had to switch over to the um main router which took some time but the app is very slow to respond not very featured and hopefully we'll get more features later on but that's one of the reasons why i'll looking going with a different router just because i do like the extra features if you connect via the web app um, and you go to their main router connection using the 192.168 um, you can get way more features and way more accessibility than you can get in here which would be nice to be able to change those things and not having to go directly to the website but that's my standing with the orbi system at the moment